Hi there, I'm Jamie Dunbar, and welcome back to the Dunbar Dog Diaries, The Puppy Next Door. This is week three, video six. In our last video, I showed you the second half of a training session with Daisy where I worked her longer than I should have. In this video, I'm going to introduce Daisy to a new person she has never met before. However, before we jump into the video, I just wanted to say that if you are enjoying this series and want to learn more about dog training and behavior, make sure to check out our self-guided dog training courses at DunbarAcademy.com. We have hundreds of hours of dog training videos, lectures and seminars, as well as worksheets and eBooks, all of which can be purchased individually, or you can get access to all of it as part of our $20 Top Dog Academy subscription. Alternatively, if you're interested in real-time, live online puppy classes with some of the best puppy training instructors in the world, check out our sister site, SeriousPup.com. Our small live online classes will teach you all the essential skills you need to raise and train your puppy or adult dog. And the best part is you'll have access to a real live instructor who will coach and guide you through any issues you might have and answer all of your dog training questions. It's easily one of the best ways to get the support you need to raise a puppy, all without leaving the comfort of your own home. If you're interested in either of these, we'll provide links to both in the description down below. Okay. With that out of the way, let's jump into the video. All right, here we are. I'm here with my friend Matt. All right, you want to say hi? Hello. Uh, wanted to introduce Daisy to an unfamiliar person, so we're going to start by letting Daisy out, letting her go up, say hi to Matt. Matt might offer Daisy some treats. We've got actually some extra tasty treats. I don't have anything, Daisy. Daisy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So you can just feed her a couple just to say hi. We want Daisy to learn unfamiliar people are cool and we like them. Yeah. So Daisy doesn't seem worried about you at all. <laughs> you know, like if she was hesitant to approach, we'd be a little concerned, but she's like, oh, I like this Matt guy. So maybe I'll see if you can get her to sit. Maybe I'll demo one. Here, Daisy, come here. Daisy, Daisy. Okay. You get the food lure on her nose. Oh no, we like Matt too much. You just, well, all right, maybe you do it. Uh, so not too high, otherwise she'll jump up. Mm -hmm. Just slowly up and back over her head. There you yes. go, good girl, yeah. Hey Daisy, come on, do, do one for Jamie. Sit, oh. No, <laughs> it's the new kid in town. So exciting. Yeah. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right, let's see if you can do a sit and then a down. So get that sit, don't give her the food, and then see if you can get it down just by putting it right down in front of her. Good, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we'll try a sit, a down, and then a stand. So then you pull it out, and as soon as she stands up, you go down a little bit underneath her chin so she doesn't sit. Sit, yeah. Down. Ooh. And then, uh, so up a little. Oh, there you go, there you go, now she's standing. Uh, kinda, kinda, there we go. Good job, good job. No, Matt's, Matt's, Matt's you now. Yeah, ooh, good job. Okay, let's see if we can get Daisy to go back and forth between us using our food lures. So, the key to this is when we want her to go to you, I'm gonna say go to Matt, and that's, I'm not gonna say anything else. I'm gonna be completely still after that. And then you can hold out your food lure, you can call to her, you can jiggle your hand, you can do little claps, you can tap the ground, all of that. It's pretty cool. So first I'll get her over here, and then I'll send her to you. Daisy, come here. Good girl, yeah, there you go. Now Daisy, go to Matt. Now you call her. Daisy, Daisy, come here. Yes, good girl. Now you say, go to Jamie. Now Daisy, go to Jamie. Come here, Daisy, Daisy. Yeah, there you go. So I didn't have any food in that hand. You can try it with food in one hand, but that one's behind your back. And then the one that you're actually waggling in front of her, 
All right, Daisy, go to Matt. Daisy, Daisy, come here. Daisy. Daisy. And then give her the food with the other hand. Yeah. What we're trying to teach her here is that even if there's no food in the hand that's reaching out, you know, like you still want to listen. You never know when you can get a treat. Mm. All right, send her back to me. Daisy, go to Jenny. Daisy, come here. Daisy. Yeah, good girl. Good girl. Here you go. All right. Daisy, go to Matt. Daisy. Oh, you have a little water? You can have a little water break. Hydration is important, of course, for this intensive exercises. Mm. So oh, Matt has his own doggy at home, so I bet he's extra interesting for Daisy to sniff around on. Okay, worked up a bit of a, a thirst. All right, Daisy, go to Matt. Daisy, come here, Daisy. Yes. All right, send her back to me. Come here, Daisy. Come here, Daisy. Good girl. So I'm going to give her a treat just for coming. And now I'm going to see about getting a few positions. So I'll see if that's it. Baby, sit. There you go. Come here. Sit. Good girl. Sit down and stand. Yeah. Good girl. And go to Matt. Daisy. Yes. Good girl. <laughs> She's very excited. Does he say? So maybe put it down, reach a little farther away from you. Yeah, so it's not climbing on you. Oh, hello. <laughs> No, Daisy. Daisy, come here. Daisy, we don't want to play with that. We don't want to play with that. Daisy, go to Matt. Just give her one when she comes. There you go. Yes, because today isn't really so much about training with Daisy. It's about showing her that new people are cool. So we're not trying to do too much. Let's see about a little bit of holding. So I'm going to hold her like this. I'm going to give her a couple just to get her happy. Got my hands underneath her front arms. She's not getting away. I might even try and get a little finger under her collar here. And I'm just going to hold her for a little bit and then let her go so that she doesn't feel like trapped in my arms. You know, like she's clearly interested in hanging out with you. So just hold her for a second. Don't let her down if she's struggling, but you can lift her up so her feet are off. There you go. And then put her down and give her some treats. Yeah, that was cool. Did you miss that one? You missed, missed it, didn't you? There you go. Because right, a lot of times, dogs will learn to not like being picked up because, you know, bad things happen or they don't like it. Good girl, Daisy. And we don't also, we also want to teach, don't want to teach them that struggling is how they get free. A lot of times people pick up a puppy and they'll struggle and they'll put it down and they learn, oh, I don't want to be held. Oh, let's show her, show you how to play with her tug toy. You want to grab that rolled up little animal carcass up there. Okay. And then if you just down around here on the ground, she goes for it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good girl. Yeah. Yeah, and I'll, then I'll demo this. So when we want it back, we say, thank you. We stop kind of tugging with it. We squeeze it all up into a ball. Very gently, I'm just putting my fingers in there. She opens her mouth and says, thank you, good girl. And I'm actually gonna give you a treat. And then, I'm gonna bring it out again. Oh, yeah, yeah. And so, I, like, these are things I wouldn't even, wasn't even really planning on doing with you because, uh, you know, this is mostly about, like, getting her to feel comfortable with you. She seems totally comfortable with you. She does, she's not, she's not worried. I think it's partly because she lives in a house with a couple boys and uh, I think she's already met a lot of people. Her owners have been doing, no thank you Daisy, we really don't want her biting on our clothes. Obviously because that destroys them, but also because 
she can't tell if she's biting hard. So yeah, let's see if you can play with her a little bit. Yeah. Damn it. Damn it. Mm -hmm. And then roll it up. Yeah, see if you can kind of bunch it up. Get yeah, get a little of that too, and then say thank you. Thank you. Good oh, girl. girl. Yeah, so have a treat. Look. Here you go. Yeah. Good girl. Thank you. Good girl. Oh, we were practicing this this morning. Good job, Daisy. Oh, good job. Okay, maybe we'll do one more little thing with puppies. We, we, they don't have much stamina, so I'm just gonna keep these sessions short. Boop. So, let's play veterinarian. Or you just touch one of her paws and then give her a treat. Okay. All four paws. I wish I could play this with my dog. Yeah, so you touch a paw. Touch a paw. And then a treat. There you go. Good girl. Yeah. It's Dr. Matt the veterinarian. Touch a paw. Now, a lot of people touch the front paws. They'll practice that. But they, a lot of people forget about the back paws. Yeah. There you go. Whoop. There you go. Right, this way, Daisy's gonna learn, oh, I love it when strange men start manhandling me, which can be really useful. And now reach under and take like, just touch her collar very right gently underneath and then give her a treat. There you go. Yeah. Oh yeah, so I should mention with the biting, if she bites very, very hard, like if she bites enough that it hurts, you can just say, ow, and freeze. Freezing is key. All right, so here, let's see. Look kind of like this. Here, Daisy. Ow, oh, hold on. Ow! It's okay. All right. Yeah, that was just a, that one was a little hard. And you see, they freeze. They're like, whoa! But then we actually want her to bite. We want her to bite as long as she's not hurting us. Because the more mouthing she does now, the more she learns to temper the strength of her bites on human flesh. She didn't bite at all as a puppy. Then when she had a need to bite as an adult, hmm. she would actually bite very hard. You know, she wouldn't have any any uh, control over that. Hmm. But yeah, um, I think that's pretty much all we want to do with you today, Matt. But thank you very much for coming by. Oh, you want to you want to feed her a few more treats before you go? Yeah. No, thank you. Off. Daisy. Should say one more time. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. What we were working on this morning, we could try. We'll see. Let's see. It, no, thank you. Off, off. There we go. Let's work on our hand signal. What about this, Daisy? Daisy, can you do sit? Good girl. Yes. Take it. Yeah. So we're gradually moving towards more abstract hand signals as opposed to these, uh, you know, luring motions. We're getting there one step at a time. All right. Daisy, thank you. Say goodbye to Matt. Hey, oh, I should also point out, you'll notice, Matt is not wearing any shoes right now. I asked him to take his shoes off. Um, when you have visitors come, they've been walking outside, um, it's good to take off outdoor shoes and keep them away from the puppy. Because if anyone steps in any uh, poop or poop dust with parvovirus on it, it can expose your puppy to germs. So, outdoor shoes, outside, away from the puppy. All right, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Well, I'm not surprised, but Daisy was not shy about meeting my friend Matt. It seems like Daisy has a very confident temperament and she is not easily spooked. She went right up to Matt and started climbing all over him. I was thinking this video would be about teaching Daisy to feel comfortable around Matt, but she was totally comfortable from the very beginning. So we went ahead and had Matt try a little training. It was fun being able to do the back and forth yo-yo recalls, which require a second person. Let's see what Kelly thought of this session. Hi, Kelly. Good to see you. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well. So uh, let's see. We just watched a video with uh, my me introducing Daisy to my friend Matt. And this was uh, I think she's met a lot of people before, but this was the first time I was introducing her to a new person on camera. So um, yeah, what did you think? Went well, went beautifully. Um, she's not a shy puppy. I, I'm not surprised. That's, you know, Daisy's kind of a gung-ho, kind of happy girl. 
Um, so, you know, you didn't have a lot of um, kind of precautions to take there, you know, she, she I mean, you, you did take some, but there were no concerns really. Um, Oh, dancing light in the background. Mm -hmm. Party light. Um, it, it was it was nice. It was fun to watch you be the trainer and explaining to somebody else how to behave. And it was kind of interesting at the beginning. You could tell that Daisy was a little more into you than into Matt, even though he was novel. Not because she was afraid, but because she has a reward history and relationship with you, right? Yeah. Um, Although I feel like there was that point early on where I was trying to get her attention and she kept going back to Matt. And um, at first my feelings were a little hurt, but thinking back to it, I remember I gave him uh, an enhanced kibble with a little bit yep. of freeze dried liver dust on it so that she'd really like him. And so hopefully that was what was going on there. Yeah, no, absolutely. And you know, completely, you know, I mean, it's smart on your part. You, know, you, you want to give your stranger, your new person, um, extra fancy rewards compared to you. And, um, and I, ideally, yeah, they, they're interested in, in a new person. Uh, doesn't uh, not unlike the some of the other things we've done it doesn't always go that smoothly um, you were able to get into kind of a little bit of a training mode I like how you said this isn't about training and you didn't overdo it um, but you were able to do some training and handling that you might not be able to do if she were you know a, a different a different personality um, a lot of times the first couple of meetings can be just passive, you know, like introduce, give the person some enhanced kibble or something even better, sit back, hang out on the floor like that. I like that you were on the floor at puppy level and the shoes were off so that, you know, that's safety concern for the puppy for outdoor shoes. And um, Matt was a nice uh, chill personality for this, for this. I think that was a good choice. I don't know if that was on purpose. Um, and it was just, it was, it was nice. It was really well executed. So I can't say, you know, the only, the only thing I would say to people is maybe you don't necessarily have to do as much um, train or, or any training or handling if the puppy's not ready for it, or, you know, if the person doesn't listen to instruction well or whatever it may be, you know? Yeah. I was, I mean, like, I feel like ideally in this, sort of video she would have been like a little wary of Matt we would have had him you know like toss some kibble and kind of like get over that but from the get-go she was just climbing on him so it was like I mean, yeah maybe ideally for demonstration purposes right, we right. can always but on the other ideally for life no she's she's great she's perfect yeah yeah, yeah. So, someday yeah. maybe we'll work with a puppy who's a little more shy or or something so we can see I'm sure we will but you know regardless um you, you know people have to watch and I mean, the hope the goal is to get the puppy how to how to you know to want to interact you know in a in a normal and relaxed fashion, and so it's it's a good it's a good um, model or standard to set. I don't know a, a good bar. I don't, I'm not you know I'm not sure what the word is that I'm thinking of here, but um, kind of a good a nice ideal picture that people yeah. can aim for if they don't have it right away. So, yeah. and if you don't have it right away, go slowly. Don't push your puppy, but do expose your puppy um, to people and places and you know, they can sit on your lap if they need to. Um, you can do all the feeding if you need to, it doesn't have to be from a stranger. Don't push your puppy beyond what they're comfortable with. And like you did, keep the, se the session, the greetings, kind of short and sweet at first, nonchalant like that. So it's not, don't make a big deal of it. And it becomes a big deal, right? And if I, if I don't make a big deal, I mean, both don't, oh, it's okay, buddy. It's not going to reassure the fear. It's not the point. But you just don't want to draw attention to it. Oh, yeah, here's this guy. He's here. We're going to do our thing over here. And you're going to hang out with me. It's all cool. Or don't do the opposite, which is, woo, it's a party. There's a guy here, you know because you don't necessarily need a social loon either. Yeah. Just like all people, um, you know, when we meet new people, we mostly just are like, hey, hey, it's a new person. Hey, how you doing? Good. Okay. Do we have something coming? Maybe we'll hang out. Maybe we won't. Yeah. You know, it doesn't have to be like, oh my gosh, there's a new person. Uh, or, right. or, you know, or some kind of weirdly overly social aggressive. Yeah, one thing I noticed uh, while rewatching the video was how like, um, Matt, I think just kind of naturally would, you know, like give her a treat and then kind of like grab her, you know, like kind of like do a little scratchy petty around the ears and stuff, which I feel like I haven't, um, I think I've been very cautious about that kind of stuff and not wanting to like overwhelm her. Um, but so, right, it was interesting seeing someone else who's was, I guess, you know, not worried about that. Um, and it seems like 
for Daisy, that's not a problem. Whereas, you know, for a more timid puppy, they would probably be spooked by an unfamiliar person kind of like mm-hmm. doing that. Handling, yeah. That sort of handling. Um, but it does seem like with Daisy that I can probably, especially now that she knows me, like I can probably incorporate more petting and scratching and kind of that kind of pleasurable handling uh, as part of training and as, you know, as part of how I work with her. But yeah, you, I mean, you certainly can, but I would, I would, I would good to note, you know, maybe, yeah, new people, you know, manage that a little more. You have to be your dog's advocate and read their body language. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. But overall, great, excellent first person on your part. And it was, as I said, it was fun watching you, you know, teaching the handling and the, how to hold the collar and how to hold the puppy and all really good. You're 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 doing a great job. Now uh, you're learning how to be a teacher. We'll be uh, out of work. We'll all be all Jamie Dunbar. <laughs> well, I think we're a long way before I feel confident doing anything without asking for your uh, for your input and advice. But I really appreciate it, Kelly. Thank you very much. And. Sure. Uh, We'll see you in the next video. See you next time. All right. Bye. All right. Well, that was cool. I think the big takeaway from this feedback session is that while Daisy wasn't worried about meeting Matt, she may be worried about meeting other people. Or more likely, someday I may be working with a puppy who isn't as confident. And so it's always good to be mindful of a pup's body language and give them plenty of time and space to get used to new people or anything really, that is putting them on edge or making them wary. I don't think Daisy's going to be the best pup to demo that sort of confidence building training, but you never know, as most dogs do become more standoffish and skittish during adolescence. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next video. We'll be taking a couple of weeks off from working with Daisy as I'm going on vacation and then we're replacing the windows in our training studio and office. So the next video will actually be week six, video one as we won't be able to do any training in weeks four or five. All right, I'll see you then. Thanks for watching this video. If you'd like to learn more about dog training and behavior, make sure you visit DunbarAcademy.com to check out our selection of courses, many of which are completely free. If you'd rather watch more of our videos here on YouTube, just click the links to the right. And if you want to follow us on social media, everything you need is directly below. As always, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to click the bell for notifications.